It's an event that takes almost eight months to plan. And without our student staff calling different sites throughout the year, organizing volunteers, it wouldn't be able to take place. And it's all in an effort to get our students uh, who come in as first year students oriented to the culture of Brockport, which is service, and we love it. What we're doing right now actually is we're uh, trying to get the students in the form of a B, it's a cl freshman class photo. And it's pretty much just our job to keep things under control and just get things going and set everything up. So my past experiences with Saturday of Service have been really great. Um, for the last five years since I've been an employee of the college at Brockport, I have participated just about every year and it's been really rewarding getting to connect with students really in their first weekend here on campus in a way that gets them engaged with the community and just helping out and being involved. For me, it's an opportunity for students to pay it all forward. Um, I, in my opinion, students are the greatest resource that I think the community has because they're so energetic. They all have a passion or an interest in something that's near and dear to their heart. So being able to get students involved in so many different activities um, in one day, I just think it's a great way for our campus as a whole to really kind of pay it forward to the community. I just wanted to be a peer mentor because I loved how my peer mentor helped me and um, just being able to like have that close of a contact with freshmen that are, you know, maybe unsure about things and stuff like that. It's just, it just seemed like a good fit to kind of want to give back to them. Uh, last year for Saturday of Service, I was a transfer student here, and I did my Saturday of Service at the Newman Center, and I had a great experience there at a very beneficial Newman Center. I ended up starting to go there on a weekly basis. I met a lot of my best friends during Saturday of Service. This event definitely prepares students for the future. Just meeting people, doing service, getting to know like what college is about, benefiting the community around you. I'm closer to them than say like professors, 30s or 40s. So we're like in our same like age bracket per se. Like we're we understand each and other. It dispels the myth that upperclassmen are scary or that we're not nice to freshmen or we're possible to talk to. So I feel like they'd learn that they can come to upperclassmen and ask about things that maybe aren't academically related, that we're just students just like them, we're all in the same place at the time. That's a lot of hours. That's just, that's great. That is amazing. That is really, wow. I think it's amazing just having everyone involved and doing something new and just getting involved in the community. I think it's great. I love the amount of money and service going towards it. That's a lot of hours, um, 1,800 hours in one day. That's pretty incredible, and I think it's great to, that we're having students do that in one day. But I think the benefit is, you know, like I said, an event like this can really enlighten students, and who knows to follow how many are inspired to, you know, contribute more, and you know how many more hours of service are just going to be um, as a result of students being inspired from today's event. It makes me feel like what I do is truly worthwhile.